Hello everyone, my name is Carol Cast, and today I'm going to be talking about a book I recently read called Ladies of uh, the Lake. And the book is written by Ken Corday, and if any of y'all are soap opera fans, you'll remember him as the producer of Days for Our Lives. And so now he's turned into an author with his uh, new book, Ladies of the Lake. And I received it in exchange for an honest review. And so without further ado, here's my take on the book. The premise of the story revolves around uh, six friends who live in a lakeside community. And of course, they're called Ladies of the Lake. And the book revolves around, uh, you know, their lives. You know, they live a life of uh, glamour and luxuries. And uh, they live in big houses, uh, drive expensive cars. And, uh, you know, they... Uh, wear fancy dresses and clothes and jewelry and all that sort of stuff. And, of course, they live there with their husbands, you know, their grown children. And even though they, uh, on the outside, it looks like they have the perfect life with all the luxuries and everything they could ever want, behind closed doors, it's a different scene. And so, throughout the book, you meet all the women and uh, you get to learn about their history and... Uh, their lives before they got married and behind closed doors you get to get a glimpse into their home life and you realize uh, they ain't as happy as they proclaim to be. Their husbands, uh, well, let's just say the husbands, they're real jerks and throughout the book I want to like uh, slap a couple of the husbands for the way they were treating their wives but uh, in the end the husbands, uh, they kind of get what they deserve. And so the book starts out like one of the husband's death. And then as the story progresses, you know, the ladies, they come together and they talk about their problems at home. And then one by one, uh, the husbands, you know, they start dying. And uh, at first, everything uh, seems like coincidence and accidents. But then the police start to put together that it looks suspicious. And so they're on the trails trying to figure out what's going on with the community of the ladies of the lake. And so, as the police uh, grow suspicious, the ladies, they come together and try to figure out a way around this and how to get the police uh, off of their trail. And along with the police, you know, they also have, like, the kids, you know, they're starting to get suspicious, wondering what's going on with their parents and all the deaths in the community. And so... They kind of start their own little investigation, looking into what's uh, going on and all that. Now, overall, I thought Ladies of the Lake was a good book. And, you know, the characters, you know, even though, like, some of the women they come across as uh, snobby and all that, you kind of feel sorry for them, especially learning about their history and uh, what all they're going through with their husbands. So, even though they're portrayed as... Uh, bad people and you know you want them to get the what they deserve on the other hand you also feel sorry for them and want to kind of like root for them in the end uh, so i like the ladies and so in a way i was kind of like rooting for them but on the other hand i kind of like oh i just want them to get what they deserve but uh, i lo enjoyed the story and all the characters i loved how the writer you know he told of him, like, the different characters' perspectives. You know, he has the women's perspectives, and, of course, the perspectives of the children, and then, of course, the detectives and all that. So I liked how he focused on all the different perspectives of uh, the characters throughout the novel. And so I liked the book. You know, it's filled with a whole lot of mystery and suspense, and, of course, lots of drama, just like a soap opera is. So, and it's kind of like a nighttime soap opera in a way. Kind of remind me like uh, Desperate Housewives, kind of like that. So it was definitely a soap opera vibe uh, with the book. And of course it has like a little bit of romance. You know, one of the women falling in love with uh, one of the detectives. And of course you have like a little uh, love story between uh, two of the <clears throat> teens in the book. And so... Overall, I thought it was a good book. You know, like I said, it's mixed in with a lot of mystery, suspense, drama, and uh, romance. And so, all in all, I'd give it a rating of uh, four stars. And so, if you're a fan of, like, soap operas or mystery and dramas, romances, and all that sort of stuff, 
I highly recommend you check out Ladies of the Lake.